Welcome, Welcome to, to Bali. Bali. Thanks Welcome. for reminding me of the last time we did this and we said to be super thanks. <laughs> Bali. Bali! We should have probably practiced that. <laughs> We're in Bali. <laughs> do you remember that? I do, yeah. Sorry. So this is clearly not our first time in Bali, although if you are new here, you might not know that. Uh, we have spent a lot of time here, lived here, but this is a really, really exciting trip for us this time. We're getting married in just a few days. So we brought our families to Bali. It's their very first time in Bali, mostly, all mm -hmm. of them. Um, and this is just gonna be us doing like raw vlogs and you guys are just gonna come along for the journey. Yeah, so we've got my family first, which will be what most of this kind of the next few days will be. Then we're in our wedding villa when Stacey's families join and then our friends arrive and then my family leave and then we hang out with Stacey's family. So basically, yeah, not the most helpful video we'll ever make from Bali. But, but if you're looking for Bali advice, you'll wanna check out our full Bali guide. It has all the info you need to know to save you weeks of planning and research. We're talking top locations, critical visa steps, the best cafes and restaurants, where to stay, best things to do, our private database of local drivers, and so much more. Seeing Bali through their eyes mm. is going to be really fun. Oh, and Beach Club. Are we going to a beach club? Oh, yes. <laughs> We're going to a beach club. <laughs> Here we go. This is us for the day. Executive class. That's how you know it's legit. It's even got the wonderful Indonesia on the side. I mean, we've worked with tourism boards before. <laughs> we're, not, we're not for this, but we're sorted here. Buggy. Buggy. Look at this, these guys are so dedicated out here already working the rice fields. Look, sun's only just coming up. It's only just gone seven o'clock. Show you around in our, uh, in our villa in a little bit, but this is our main one here. There's actually a second one there, and then I think there might even be a third right next door. But basically there's eight of us in my family, so we went all out, we got this big bad boy. Uh, one million for the whole day. Hi, we're gonna play some we're gonna play some pool now. First off the breakfast anyway. Yep. Called Village Green. Um, I remember being here maybe about five years ago and driving up and down the street and then seeing this place. And then maybe two years ago when we were here and Stacey and I said, we could probably take our families here. This seems like a kind of cool family friendly spot and it's sort of surreal to be here now. They're all right. Take it with you then. And delicious. Where are we, my love? We're at Sevignac Village. I always get confused between village and square. Um, we're going to go to our favourite spa place, Spring Spa, and get a couple's massage. So we've got the whole family locked in for their massages. Everyone's so stoked, eh? Look, here's the two, the two kids with their, with their new stuff. Yes. How much did they cost you? 30. 30 bucks? How many, do you remember how many hundred thousand that is? Um, that's 300,000? Yes! Ty, give us a spin mate, show us that LeBron. <laughs> Ooh, flash bruh. So we have shown in this uh, air conditioned mall a few times before, but this is the kind of place that my family's gone, oh my god, yes, it's air con But it has developed a little bit. They've actually got an Apple store now. There's baked over there. There's also uh, New Era Crocs, and I think down here there's Birkenstocks, there's H&M, and then upstairs is where we go for the massage. So, I planned out a lunch for today. We're going to a place in Seminyak called Mama San. I really wanted to take the family to an Asian restaurant, but like, gateway. <laughs> like, <laughs> ease fusion. into it. Yeah, so this is a fusion place. It's like a nice restaurant. When I was researching it came up in like all the all the blogs of like all the nice nicest restaurants to go to. Mama San always showed up. Yeah, it's not the kind of place you roll into in your jandals and your swimwear. So I think I it's cool to do something a little bit nicer though. Yeah. I mean throughout the trip we're gonna do a mixture of everything from local warongs to nice restaurants to all sorts. So kicking things off with a bam. <laughs> bam. Yeah that food was absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're not into spice though, which we, which we, we love spice. Mm, some members of my family think pepper is spicy, <laughs> but other, other than that, I like loved that. That was 
beyond New Zealand quality in a beautiful setting. Good choice, babe. Happy with that? Hell yeah. What do you got, Kenzie? Dad toys. Oh, no you don't. You got one now. <laughs> this is the life, eh? So this is the <laughs> this is the pool set. It looked real skinny on the photos, but it's it's not that small, is it really? Like it's it's reasonable. We got <laughs> we got a good privacy as well. I think that might be another villa there, but they, they can't see anything. There's nothing there, and then over this way, I'm pretty sure it's just rice fields. So it's quite a nice spot. Okay, hold on. What's the other one? The other what? <laughs> I thought you might have drowned there for a second. <laughs> okay, not particularly graceful, Kenzie. You're just in time to quickly show everybody the house. Here it is. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, you go to the pool. Yeah, it's absolutely immense. We've got a massive kitchen. Everything is like brand new, like really fresh actually. Um, nice big table. Sorry, you're not getting any fancy B-roll shots or anything out of me today. We're full family vibes. Uh, like that, Stace, what's the word again? The sunken lounge, nice big TV. And then we've got a coffee machine, microwave, fridge and all that kind of stuff in there. Just nice little features everywhere. There's actually another toilet in there. And then, Upstairs. So there's four different rooms. This is the one the kids are in. This is surprisingly one of the more tidy ones. You can see really nice. Like look how modern and beautiful that is. And then I hesitate to show you on ours, but I will. Um, there's a nice little lounge spot out there where Gina and Alzana are hanging out overlooking the rice paddies. Looks down over the lounge area there, pulls over that side. And then, oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. <laughs> then we've got our own balcony as well. And then, so it's got all the, all the good shit, USB cables and everything, so it's much easier. Not quite as tidy in here. Then look at that. Stunning. Really good place. Today, it's beach club time. We're at, well, it's so hard on the GoPro. We're at Sundays. <laughs> We've shown this place before, and so my family saw the video and were like, hell yes, we've got to go there. Come In fact, Sundays. one person said, hell yes, we got to go there. Come to Sundays on Sunday. For, for a little bit of, little bit of day Did drinking, you know, eh? Oh yeah, she said she really wants to. My family aren't exactly the type, they want to be all in this camera with us. So there's quite a few different ways that you can get in if you're going just like general admission, which is what we did last time. And you can kind of just like, there's no uh, bookings or anything. Or you can do the VIP experience, which, given we're here for our wedding and my family haven't been to Bali and they really wanted to have this experience is what we're doing this time. So we can show you what that looks like, but check this out for now. So this time we're doing a VIP cabana, which is actually for six people, but then we added the two kids additional because you can go up to eight and then it's expensive, like expensive as shit. We're talking, I think we spent about uh, almost close to 200 New Zealand dollars per person. So it's a lot, but you get, um, Collectively, we get 7.4 million rupiah in credit. So we've spent, uh, what's that? We've spent um, about 1,500 New Zealand dollars, but we're getting about $800 worth of credit, roughly. I can't do the math right now, it's far too early. We're here first thing, first thing in the morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your head on? Well, we had not planned on rain, unfortunately, but that's what we've got. I mean, the, the contrast from when we were here last time is just unreal because last time it was blue skies and our towels were hot even on the when we had them sitting on our um, on our day beds. It still looks good, but it's not quite as good as it typically would be, unfortunately. Stace, you booked. We booked everything else except for. Did you not book the weather? Oh, I thought you, you were. The sun. I thought you were doing that. Oh man. <laughs> Hopefully, did you just say all this? That hopefully, yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed. But it, I mean, either way, it's still beautiful. It tends to. Yeah. We got a lot of credit to get through today. <laughs> so before other people get here, and this really fills out. Essentially, you've got like one big restaurant here. There is another VIP area over that side, which we're actually going to be checking out with Stacy's family in a few days' time. 
this is your kind of general admission stuff and and this just fills out with bean bags as the tide comes and goes but this time hello but this time we've booked up here so you get a completely different private experience you get your own cabana and everything you get your own area down the front there which is all kind of um enclosed off well stacy's telling me to hurry up and i think you kind of get you know separate service over the side and everything so um it's gonna be starting buggy <laughs> So it's kind of cool to see how this one plays out over over this side and I know this is uh, some proper raw vlogging by our standards but I hope you're enjoying just <laughs> just coming along on just a weird um, journey with us over multiple days here. They look nice in there eh babe? They look really nice, that's not ours. Oh that's not our one. one. Yep that's a little different different standard than what we experienced last time. What have we got? Some welcome drinks. Oh okay and then we get our own, got our own toilet here. And then, didn't they say shower as well? Yeah, it's like oh, sorry, Mouth. Come around that side. Oh, and then we've got our own private shower as well. Amazing. Put it here, and then showers over there. What do you reckon, Kenzie? You like it here? Yeah. It's cool, eh? It's awesome. <laughs> I'm not Kenzie, but I kind of think it's cool. <laughs> three seats on the there. Is there three on each yeah. side? There's wow. Two, two, one, one. Right. You can see there's also some private dining down here that we can hang out that is restricted by uh, the little rope there and stuff. So yeah, that's the kind of general area you're looking at. The only annoying thing is <laughs> the swimming area is there. This is not great for swimming. We should probably start like that. Why, what? It brings you along so far. Oh, is it a current that takes you down? Yeah, it's pretty rocky out there, eh? Yeah, that admittedly is a, not a great thing about the beach here is that it's, it's quite limited to this. So you kind of have to wait until the tide comes in quite a lot before you get to swim in like this area where it's more sandy. Because we're so early, we're a little bit limited. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely mad out there. There's a reason Ulu is known for its surfing because the waves here are intense. Oh, that's nice though. Just drops off pretty quick. Yeah, that's mad. Okay, go, 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 do it then. We've brought the family to Trans Studio Mall. Never been here before, but my mum was the one that was like, we want to do some shopping, is there a big shopping mall? We just googled it, this seems to be one of the bigger ones. But one of the selling points for this mall and why it's family friendly in a way, is because on top of the building there is a theme park. So inside you've got the, coffee, the cafes, the, the shopping and all that kind of stuff, which honestly we're just going to sit down and do some wedding planning and some final bits and pieces that we need to do. The family can shop, the kids can go to the theme park, everybody's happy. That's like a win. Today we're ticking off the one cultural thing for my, for my family. We've come to Tanilot Temple. Uh, it's probably the main site that you'll recognize for any of the sort of religious looking sites or beautiful photos once we get down there, if you've ever seen a temple out on the water. But it's very much enter and exit through the gift shop. Um, but there is, it's definitely developed a lot since we were last here, which must have been about five years ago. There's now like ice cream shops. I got chocolate and strawberry. And how much was it? It was a dollar fifty. Like fifteen thousand for two scoops. Mm -hmm. Damn! Why didn't you get four scoops? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Auntie here. You hear that, babe? Yeah, I'm gonna get four scoops. <laughs> oh, there's obviously a lot more construction going on. I know from memory there are restaurants and stuff somewhere, but you've got um, toilets and a few different parking areas and stuff like that, and then. Um, no one's really here right now because it's about, I think it's about lunchtime, it must be at 12.30 and it is just like screaming hot. That's the ticket there, get that ice cream. Because I think at night time, there's my old boosting down there to the beach, I think at night time they do some stuff with um, uh, like a fire show or something like that. So people tend to come around sunset or after to get the best, get the best views. I will head down in a second anyway. I'm uh, particularly sweaty. I've been on the scooter trying to bring our scooter up to our wedding venue. Um, so I've been like fighting, fighting in the traffic. 
and the sunshine to get up here. It's just so developed now, man. It's unbelievable how it used to just be kind of to the edge of Changu or Pererinan and then it would kind of extend from there, but it feels like the whole way up, there's cool stuff going on. There it is. Yeah, look, you can walk right out there. That's the main one. So it looks like the tide's in a little bit at the moment compared to what it is sometimes, Kenzie. You can walk all the way out there. Could you be able to would they let you walk up? Yeah, you can. Uh, I don't think um, tourists can go into the temple. Wow, today is a massive day for us. <laughs> We're going to go and see our wedding villa for the very first time. <laughs> it's happening. I hope I'll be delighted. Terimakasi, thank you, thank you. Terimakasi. It's surreal being here. I honestly don't even know if it's set in yet. I love, we're getting married here in like a couple of days time. Welcome to paradise. Actually ridiculous how big this place is. 